Hello and welcome to Pizza 360. I'm Daniel Lee Perea. Joining us today in the PMQ booth is Mr. Jamie Culleton, a U.S. pizza team, 30-time medalist and corporate trainer for a national pizza chain. Welcome, Jamie. How you doing, Daniel? Thanks for having me. All right, well, let's start by talking about that pizza team experience. How mm. long have you been an active with the team? Uh, I've been on the team for a little over four years now. How's that experience been going for you? I love it. Um, it's just a great opportunity to be able to travel, um, meet PTOs from all over the country and the world, um, and it's just you know it's just a wonderful experience outside of the job that I that I already have. So you've won some culinary events over the years, mm -hmm. but your main focus has been on pizza freestyle acrobatics. Yep. Uh, how do you perform acrobatics with pizza? Well, there's a lot of different kind of basic tricks, but you know the, really the, the 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 way to get good at it in my opinion is to watch people who are a little bit better than you and I guess that's kind of how it goes with anything in life but watch those guys practice the tricks they know develop um, you know more tricks but really it's practice 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 yep so all that practice earned you recently as of last year a silver medal at the world pizza championships yep yep can you tell us about the routine and why it is that put you within three points of just winning outright well um Gosh, I've been you know I've been competing in Italy for a few years now, and so I was really happy, but uh, ended up second place, uh, especially for an old guy like myself. But um, I had a good routine. I, you know, I did uh, Justin Timberlake's suit and tie. I had the suit and tie. I worked on um, really choreographing it so it kind of fit with the song. Um, I played to the judges, played to the audience. I think everybody really loved it, and it, you know it turned out in my favor. So. It was, uh, for me, a kind of a great moment in sports history. <laughs> Thank you. But now let's talk about your full-time job. You're mm. a corporate trainer for a large national chain. Can you give us a sense of what your general duties are? Um, yeah, sure. Um, basically, my, the best part of my job is opening new stores. And essentially, you know, I go in, I train the entire staff, set up kitchens, um, and get stores up and off, off the ground and running. Um, that's my, the best part of my job. Uh, when I'm not opening new stores, I go to our existing stores, um, I train the staff there, kind of follow up on, on procedures being followed, as well as uh, help to develop new recipes, new procedures, um, and general training of, of managers and staff. So your goal is probably uniformity amongst all the restaurants. Yes. Is there anything, is there any room, anything that you do to allow an individual restaurant to be a little bit unique? Um, not really. I mean, my job is to um, get consistency throughout throughout uh, every restaurant. So whether I be in uh, you know, Oregon or I'm in California or I'm in Florida or, or Tennessee, you know, we want our guests to come in and have the same experience at one location that they do at another location. Um, so, so consistency is really uh, a big part of my job. So what kind of advice can a pizzeria operator with just uh, one store get from you on how to better train his or her staff? That's a good question. Um, you know, for me, I know I worked in a lot of smaller places and there was not really a lot of training materials. So my advice would be to come up with training materials, get it written down, um, you know, type it up and, and use that same material for each person that you're training new that comes in the door. Um, that's, that, that's the key to consistent training, you know. I know in a lot of smaller places, you know, you have this guy training this guy and then another guy training a different guy and, and you get a lot of variation. So whether you have one pizzeria or a hundred pizzerias, Start uh, developing training materials that you use, and you can evolve that training material over time, but you want to have something that you're using so that it's consistent with everybody. So in the hiring process, one of the things you know, people probably don't talk enough about is how to hire good people. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you find good employees? Um, you know, again, you want to have a process. You want to have um, questions and detailed questions that you ask people. It can't just be, you know, uh, how long you been doing this? And uh, hey, you're a nice guy, and you got a car. You know, you want to be, you want to ask them specific questions about. Tell me about a time where you had an issue, and how did you deal with that? And and you know, how do you react around this type of person? And and, and, and you know, will they play well with with others or the others that you have in your restaurant already? So some people like to use the metaphor of turkeys and eagles. Um, what is it that stands out about people that you could you know, see a potential eagle and what are some red flags that might reveal somebody as a potential turkey? Right. Um, you know, you're never going to know whether somebody is necessarily an eagle right away. Um, but, you know, a lot of times turkeys can kind of give themselves away in the interview. Um, but, you know, eagles, I think you really have to see them in action. 
see what they can do and, and see you know see where they can go for you once they get on the job um, but and then again you know you can might hire a turkey and not really realize that until you actually see them perform so for me you know you're really not going to know until you really get them in uh, into your store and, and see how they perform you you can weed out some turkeys i think in the beginning but you know it's always kind of a hate to say it, but a crapshoot sometimes until you see what their performance is like so what can you tell us about working with kitchen staff well working with kitchen staff well you know i know back when i started 20 years ago you were kind of allowed to be a little bit meaner than you are nowadays you know there's you could scream and yell and berate the guys and and that was sort of how you motivated them <laughs> back then but um, nowadays, you know, it, it's, it's more about being a coach and a teacher and um, training, training each person, working with them, developing them as, a, as an employee. Um, and, you know, instead of having that sort of uh, can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen mentality. So can the right amount of training uh, take, a, you know, maybe a mediocre employee and make them into a good employee? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's really, uh, that's your job as, as a pizzeria operator or, or really anywhere you, you work. I mean, you're going to hire an employee, and, and your job really is to develop them as far as you can you can go. That's going to help you with your business, obviously. Ultimately, you want all your employees to be the best employees they can possibly be, and that's your job to develop them into that. All right. Well, uh, if you had one piece of advice for the average uh, pizzeria operator out there, uh, what would that piece of advice be? It's always been my motto, but um, have passion for what you do. Um, you know passion for what you do, have a love for what you do, and you've got to convey that message to the people that work for you, um, the guests that come in the door, and, and that's going to help you uh, hopefully become have, have a successful pizzeria, become a successful uh, pizza operator. All right. Well, you know what, Jamie? That is about all the time we have for this month. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. If you want to see more videos, visit us at pmq.com. Don't forget to renew or sign up for your free subscription to PMQ Pizza Magazine at pmq.com slash subscribe and follow us on social media. For Pizza360, I'm Daniel E. Perea.